Hi, how are you? Hola, ¿cómo están? Mi nombre es Fernando Famanía. Soy vicepresidente de PCMA México Chapter. Y el día de hoy estoy muy contento. Today I'm very happy because I'm here with two very important people. And the most important thing, they're very nice people. Simpático. Very simpático. <laughs> very good person. Very nice guy. So I'm here with Leonard Hopp. He's ch chair of PCMA's 2024. Board of director uh, and trust president of CEO and Visit Indy. Thank you very much to be here with Gracias. us. Sheriff Karamat, president and CEO of PCMA and CIMA. Thank you very much to be here. Thank you for having us. Muchas gracias. And right now we are in IBTM Americas. And the first question that I want to make with you is, what do you think about Latin America? Uh, right now, Latin America is, is growing so fast. The event industry is doing very fast in, La in Latin America. What do you think about Latin America besides other? Well, you know, I think one of the fun things about being sheriff is that we both have Latin American heritage ourselves. I was born in Trinidad. Uh, mi esposa uh, es Latina. Uh, mi esposa familia de Guadalajara y de um, Zacatecas. Uh, uh, sheriff was born in. Uh, in Guyana, Guyana, South America. Yeah, uh -huh. South America. So we're we have uh, we have a desire, I think, uh, personally, to uh, to see Latin America become a bigger part of the community in in, con in events, and congresses, and meetings. And it already is. I mean, IBTM is a good example of uh, the presence uh, of people in our industry uh, gathering in Latin America. But PCMA sees such a much bigger potential for Latin America. There's so many people in our industry who are not yet aware of the benefits of being a PCMA member and, and having the network of other colleagues within PCMA. You are vice president of the chapter, so you know, but many others do not. Awesome. And talking about Latin, Latin America, uh, next year is going to be a very important event in Latin America. For first time, it's going to be community leaders in Latin America. And it's going to be in Colombia. Why? in 2024? Is you know, um, the question should be why not in 2024? The, the fact is, is the time is now. Latin America, as you stated earlier, is growing at a very, very fast rate. Um, the, not just the events industry, but the energy sector, the financial sector, you could name a whole bunch of sectors, including the, the medical sector is growing in Latin America and, and across the region, not one country. And so the time is now to make sure that all of Latin America is ready to host major events. And um, PCMA, as you know, the PCMA Mexican chapter, we're very focused on, on professionalizing and making sure that all Latin Americans are very ready to receive larger conferences. So we cannot wait any longer. And uh, you know, it's been about two years since we came out of COVID. And the time wasn't right at that time. And now that we've come out of COVID, the chapter, every, every part of the world struggled through COVID. Now we are really ready to put our foot forward. And we, we had to take our time to do the right thing and make it the right, right time. But Colombia and Bogota is going to be amazing place to launch um, uh, convening LATAM. And uh, it, it is time. We are looking forward to it. I do want to add a little bit to Leonard's question. I do believe that Latin America, people should not come to Latin America and expect to have the same things that they have at home. They should enjoy and immerse themselves in the culture and, and benefit from the culture here. So that's important. And at the same time, for Latin America to be attractive to the rest of the world, they've got to meet them halfway in terms of how the foreigners do business so to help them to be more successful. So I, I think with PCMA, with you at the chapter, I think we've had an opportunity to really make that marriage come together better so that Latin America could even prosper more. And I think that Colombia, Bogota, is the perfect place in Latin America. What do you think about it? No, I've never been. I can hardly wait. 
I, I very look forward to, to Bogota. Well, I, I absolutely think it is. Uh, first of all, the access to Bogota is quite easy. They've got great uh, connections around the world and to the region, so that's, that's amazing. One, two, this is an incredible cosmopolitan city um, that has got all the infrastructure to host everyone uh, from around the world, and the facilities that it's got is fantastic. The hotels that it's got is fantastic. I am absolutely looking forward to, and the professionalization of the CBBs and the convention centers in across the country is, is phenomenal. So fulfilling what those gaps are so that we can be further ahead. So imagine thinking about a trade show like this wonderful show we are here and think about it, everything that we use is, is, is sustainable and it's regenerative for the economy. It will create new jobs, higher paying jobs, and that will, and it will not denigrate the existing economy that we have. It's building it in parallel. Very good answer. Thank you very much. And PCMA is doing a lot of things around the world. And a lot of companies are starting making events. So how can PCMA help that companies to do better events? Yeah, I think, you know, I've been a member of PCMA since the 1990s. So uh, it doesn't take a lot of convincing to me uh, what a benefit it is for an individual and for a company to be a member. I've seen my own personal career uh, grow because of the relationships and connections that I've made with PCMA. Uh, I've met so many people uh, who tell me the same thing with their companies. Uh, the networks they grow, the educations they learn, uh, the professional development skills they get. Uh, every one of us can be better tomorrow than we were today. And PCMA is an incredible uh, organization, uh, an opportunity for people to uh, take their careers to the next level and their businesses to the next level. We are the experts as a community in helping people gather around the world. I, I'm, I'm just going to build on one thing that Leonard said because he's touched on everything there as in terms of education and so forth. And I want to talk about the influence of the community and the impact. Imagine the three of us sitting here the experience that Leonard would bring, the experience that you bring, Fernando. Imagine that in the PCMA community, where you have everyone that is planning events like the International Olympic Committee putting on the Olympics, to people putting on Microsoft and Hematology and Cisco. Those are the people that we are learning from and with together. So the value of the community is critical when we talk about how does that help to um, help event organizers and event stakeholders in general to, to professionalize and build their events even more. The event industry in Latin America and around the world is growing very fast. And all, a lot of companies uh, want to do something different. How can PCMA work with the companies that make events to do better events? Fernando, I've been a member of PCMA for 30 years, uh, beginning in the mid-1990s with four different companies. And it has helped me personally grow uh, as a person in this industry. Uh, I've met connections around the globe. Uh, I have um, understood the business better, uh, how the various aspects of each level of putting on an event works, uh, whether it's the destination, whether it's the event organizer, whether it's the, the different third parties that uh, get involved. Um, you know, PCMA is the organization globally to bring people together in that way more effectively than anyone. I'll give you one example. I was recently um, wanting to bring a group of people from my city, Indianapolis, to Singapore because Singapore has an attraction called Gardens by the Bay. And I wanted to see that and have my people in Indianapolis see that and dream big like that for Indianapolis. Well, because I have met Wee Min Ong from Marina Bay Sands on the PCMA board many years earlier, I was able to immediately have connections and get to very high levels of government and private practice and put together a trip for people, uh, including people from my mayor's office and governor's office because of PCMA. That would have not happened without my relationship to PCMA. But the education we get, the conferences we attend, the professional development, the networks we build, PCMA, there is no better organization in the world for those who plan events where people gather. Totally agree. Something else? So I just build a little bit on the community aspect, the influence of the community that Leonard touched on. The three of us right here, 
uh, a CEO of a city. You, Fernando, big organization in Mexico City, and me, PCMA. But think about that. This is a microcosm of the people that you engage with. You've got the, the head of events for the, the Olympic Committee. You've got the head of events of Microsoft, for microbiology, for hematology, for Cisco. These are people that are in the top of their game. Together we learn from each other. It, it, is, it is not just about what can PCMA give you, but what you bring to that community. And that's what makes it so, so amazing. And we, we get that in Latin America, we have that in Asia, we have that in US and Canada, we have that in Europe. And so when you bring all of that, different learning styles, different business norms, bi dif different cultures, there is nothing richer than that to, to allow you to in, include that in your events, to make them more, more special, more engaging, and, and people want to be a part of that. I, I absolutely 100% believe that our focus is to make sure that every event professional, regardless if they're on the supply side or demand side, will be the best at their profession if they are involved with PCMA. And despite all those CEOs and vice presidents and senior executives like yourself and Sheriff, there is a welcoming uh, community for estudiantes, uh, people breaking into the industry yeah. for the first time. We all started at that level at some point, and this is an industry and a community. PCMA especially is a community that, that welcomes that community to us. That, that's a very important point. PCMA believes in the young people. Yes. What, what can, you, can you tell our audience what is doing PCMA with the young people? You want me to jump in? Yeah, you jump in. Okay, so we, we have student chapters around the world, as you know. We have 27 here in, in, in US and Canada. We have chapters in Singapore, in Australia, in Europe. But we also have the student network in Latin America that's bringing those students together. This morning, I had the pleasure of meeting three of the students and one of their professors. That is from the Pan American um, uh, University. Mm -hmm. And uh, they are going for the the, the um, student competition, so that's one thing. We've got a program called 20 in their 20s, that's another thing. We've got, a, um, you could form a student chapter if you want to. We, we also have uh, scholarships that will help people in a system with tuition um, fees and so forth. We also have special, and being a student, is zero dollars to become a member. We wanna make sure that we are giving opportunities to young people and, and we, um, that they get in early in the game. We also have a portal at PCMA True or Career Center that is a um, portal for internships where people can, um, where students can go and say they're interested in a job and the companies are posting the internships that they have so they can have on the job experience. We, in the Business Events Week, last year and the year before last in Washington DC, we partnered with Georgetown University where we had the students wor work the, the event as a part of their curriculum so that they can get hands-on experience. Without students, without young people, we have no future. And we are resolute in the fact that, and our, our leadership is in the fact that we've got to bring young people along into our industry. I believe when I was younger, there were no such student programs that they have today. But today, students are, are much more uh, fortunate because we've got the type of programs and the type of college programs that they can benefit from, and this is where PCMA can support them. And you know, Fernando, we have our first ever uh, Maestra de Universidad on our board of directors right now. We wow. have a professor from a university, uh, first time an educator has been on the board, and so that person uh, helps us better understand the needs and desires uh, the estudiantes, and um, uh, I think that is a show of our intentionality to understand next gen and, and bring them along in their careers. Wow, PCMA is doing great things around the world. So we can invite. Can I just add one more sure, thing? Sure, because absolutely. I, I, the student thing, you know, two years ago, our student from Panama won the competition. Yes. And it tells me about how talented the students are from this part of the world. You know, they were going up, I, I, I will say to you, the Singaporeans are very, very tough when it comes to those competitions. And Panama won. 
it tells me how much they were prepared, how much they wanted it. So that is to me very encouraging what is happening in this region. Yes, the, re the region is very important. We are very happy because we are going to have convening leaders next year. So is there something else that is going to, to happen in the following months in PCMA? Well, you know, we actually have quite a few things that are happening. Obviously we have, um, well, let me just say this. Uh, you know, we, we believe in spreading the wealth. We're not just coming to Bogota. In September, end of September, we are coming to Tulum for the Partnership Summit. We are uh, going to um, uh, uh, Barcelona for convening EMEA at the end of September, and then immediately following that to convene for climate conference. So you know, you see PCMA is, is around the world. And then, of course, in January, we want to see the biggest showing of, of LATAM period at convening leaders in Houston, uh, January uh, of next year. So um, there is a lot going on. Very good. I'm so proud to be part of PCMA. Thank you very much. We thank you for your leadership for inviting me. Thank you very yes. much. And I want to invite our guests. If you are not part of PCMA, you can do it. You will learn a lot. You will be, you will be, you are going to have a very good networking. And I'm so proud. Thank you very much. You want to say something else? Um, listen, uh, you know, I am, my heart is in LATAM. And I don't mind Europe and Asia to hear that because my heart is here. And I do want, I do want this region to succeed more, more than ever. And I want you to know, not just Lucio and Susan and Marcella, um, but you can count on me and the team in Chicago at any time for what we can do to support you. We're here to support you. Thank you very much. I just add that my heart is also in LATAM because I'm married to a Latina. So <laughs> she has my heart. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. I really like it. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias. Hasta luego.